The second half of the box style PAs, we're going to talk about the power amp. We were talking earlier how the sound is mixed, it's sent over here. In this example, these um, little boxes, you can see the little white ring around there, are the different sections of the amplifier. This here is your effect or your um, reverbs, your echoes. You can see all the new knobs are blue. Again, that works with what we sent over here. As I bring up, check test, as I bring up the effect, you can hear, you can hear it in there. Check test, one, two, two, one, two. Check test. With this unit, you can send the effects to the mains or to the monitors. Now, I, I've said that a couple times. The way the mains and monitor works, this unit has two amplifiers in it. So that's why we have two equalizers. What an equalizer does, it's another tone control. From the left to the right controls the low sound to the high sound. You can see the numbers, this stands for 63 hertz. This controls something that vibrates 63 hertz. This is 125, 250. As the numbers go up, the sound gets higher. There's a um, there's an LED array here. When you're mixing sound, you try not to get it into the red. We're not loud enough to do that. Here is another equalizer. It's hard to tell in this one, but if you look over by my finger, there's a little button there. You push this in, it separates the left and the right. It then turns it into the monitor and the main. So this equalizer is what the people who are singing, the musicians, they can hear themselves. The bottom one becomes what the musician or what the listeners are listening to. So that's a really, really good selling point. Getting over to um, a couple other features. This one has something called the feedback ferret. It's a great way to explain how feedback works and, and how this unit gets rid of it. What you do is you hold the button until it starts flashing. What it's doing is it's dumping all the memory that's in there. Right now it's, it's flashing. I'm going to bring up the volume. Check, test, test. Now normally when you do the demo, you can almost take the microphone and you can put it right in front of the speaker. You point it right at the speaker. Now you would never ever do this. What I did first is I turned the volume down and you tell the customer many times when you're performing the feedback starts, people are complaining, you have nothing you can do, you just have to live through it. The feedback ferret automatically gets rid of it. Now as I bring the volume up, you're going to hear the feedback start and you're going to hear just a little bit of a squeal. And as fast as you're hearing it, you can hear it get rid of the squeal. So there, so it takes, it took it out. Now this squeal is going to continue until this light stops flashing. When the light stops flashing, then all of the filters are full. But normally that's at such a volume. Let's see if I can... This one has 18 filters in it. I found it. There we go. Check. Test one, two. So all of a sudden I have a lot of volume. Get rid of that echo a little bit. It's a great selling feature. Any, uh, all, all the musicians love it. Other things that this unit does is um, this one has a little patch bay and the big advantage of a patch bay is you can split the left the mixer and the, mon um, the power amp. So I could use this mixer tie it into another mixer because it has line outs and power amps in. So I could take a line out that's, that's like, like I said that's an access point between these two sections I can send this to another mixer. I could send it to another amplifier. Here's a monitor out. I can send my monitor to another mixer. I can send it to an another power amp. Over here, let's say I want to use this power amp that's in here. I can plug a, a mixer into this. And this, this one has left and right because of the two access points. This, this next thing is, is uh, really important. Whenever you work with this, 
the front of a, of a box unit is all is all low power. The back is where you plug the speakers in. So you never want to take a microphone and plug it into here or anything else. Power is always on the back. That's important. And all that you need to do is where it says left side or right side, this is where the speakers get plugged into. It takes a quarter inch jack and you just plug it in there. It gives a little click. Make sure you use a speaker cord for after the amplifier. Anything before is a regular um, high impedance or instrument cord.